morning. Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty and uh, I popped in a little bit earlier talked about Seth's new embossing folders <clears throat> what plates you have to use <clears throat> it's not it's not that hard it's just that I if I was facing it the other way it's a lot easier to roll it just looks harder than what I did <laughs> that's it's that's the way they said Spellbinders recommends just a three card stock um, and the A plate and the C plate and then you can put it right through hi Susan all right so tonight we are going to start our mini album any other questions about that I'll upload it after tonight's show so <clears throat> hi sky bag <laughs> So I decided on, I was going to try to do a big album like I did, like I showed you guys last week, you know, the big um, 11 by 11, but I decided to go with um, 8 by 8. So, and this is Echo Park's uh, Dino Friends, and scrap a dab -a has it um, on their site and the What's New for 20% off. So if you guys are interested in following along with me. She also has the stencils and the little dies to go with it that we're going to use. So what you're going to need is two pieces of eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So I'm going to put the mark on here. Two pieces, eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. That's your front and back cover. Why do you put the three card stocks all in the fold. No, you don't put it in the folder, um, Josie. <coughs> we're, if we're talking about Seth Apter's new embossing folders, so um, they're a lot thicker than the others. What you do is you use your A plate first, then your C plate. You put your paper, just one paper, your cardstock, whatever you're going to emboss, in there, and then three pieces of cardstock go on top, and then you roll it through. <coughs> Oh, you're... Hi, Debbie. So you're not using any B plates. The, this essentially is your B plate. These three pieces of cardstock. And then run it through. And it's also the same way you would run it through your Vagabond. You have it now, Josie? I'll just wait to see if she sees. Now the lag is long. Okay, you got it now. Good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the three pieces go just on top. That is your Boston folder. All right, so this is the front and back cover. So it's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And then I decided to go with two, three, four, six pieces, six pages, and these are eight by eight. So six pieces, eight by eight. pieces eight by eight and then um, I haven't decided to spine yet I think it's probably going to be like two and a half I should have brought chipboard up for that Oof. so we'll decide that after we put um, our hinges on so what you're going to need are hi cherry welcome anybody's come in and I forgot to say this is recorded live over on Ustream TV and I stream every Sunday and Wednesday night at 7.30 Eastern. And then I'll upload this to YouTube. Um, so what you're going to need next is, um, this is one and a quarter. So I don't know if I should write, let me write that down. I can't do it on the spine here. Hold on. So you're going to need your um, hinges or construction strips, whatever, your, your connector strips, whatever you call them. So this is one inch by eight inches. And it's got a quarter inch. You're going to score half inch on each side. So, a <laughs> senior moment. <laughs> so that's what I did here. I don't know how many we'll need. Well, we'll see what we need. So, all right. So that's what we need for our beginning so far. 
and then I'll tell you what the con the other part is. So I just want to score these. Where's my bone folder? So you just want to give these a nice score. And you're going to put tape on both sides. So you see I have three eighths in tape, tape on each side. Front, inside, and outside. So I did do cut some little dinosaurs out today, so you didn't have to watch me do that. So I thought we'd do try to get the book together and hopefully the front cover. So and it's basically remember when we did the um, basic mini, we did the five by seven. This is basically the same way. It's just it's eight by eight. So if you go over on my blog, you will see. Um, couple of posts down um, the instructions how we did the basic mini so the construction strips are the same um, the way we're going to put it together tonight's the same so if you guys have any questions just let me know and put it in cap so I can see it oh I did have one book to show I forgot I'll have, maybe I'll show it at the end <laughs> But it was really nice today. I went to the flea market, got some lace, found a little dinosaur book. <laughs> it was cute. The flea market was crowded. Nice size, 8x8, eight eight, yeah. Because I want to be able to put uh, for her to just put her 4x6 photos in there. Or she could, you know. Alright, so, so once you have your hinges all done. You're going to take your eight pieces, I mean, sorry, six pieces of eight by eight. So then I'm going to go ahead and attach these. I'm not going to attach the front one yet. I'm going to do this, start on the inside. So you're going to take the tape off here. And this is the way I'm going to do it. So I have the tape on the outside and then I'm just going to attach it as best I can to get it kind of even. Hi Mildred! <laughs> Making construction fit our strips are so unfun. <laughs> they go quick though if you're like doing it in front of TV. All right, so then again, we're going to take this tape off. And I always put the tape on that outside piece. It's just easier for me to line it up. And then you're just going to try to get it pretty much even, you know, the best you can. So there, so we have two, so this is what you get. So it's two pages so far. So, right, so then we're going to put our next one. And I think this is a quick and easy way to do it. I mean, that's the way I like to do it. So, again, again, the tape's on the outside. And just trying to get it as best you can straight. Then I'm going to take this one off. already forgotten your name <laughs> all right then again the tape is on the outside and I'm just going to line this up so there we are so this is pretty straight pretty straight so we got three pages so again these. It, 
does make it go faster when you have the hinges already done. And then I'm not going to attach the um, spine to the, um, the centerpiece. Oh. I'm going to leave it oops, loose. You always make the front and back covers a little bigger. Yeah, I do. I usually do. Mm -hmm. All right, so there we go. Now we're going to take this one, take this strip out. Again, my glue is on the outside. I guess you could lay it down like that, but I just find it easier if I stand it up for myself. I just, I don't know, I just like it that way better. So there we go. See? I think it's, I think it's quick. <laughs> Let me just burnish these down while I have that on there. Loose. Wish you could watch heading home for all your heading. Okay, Deb, there's always recording. <laughs> all right. So then again, best you can, line it up. one off see not too bad right so we have one more and then we'll do the front covers So we have one more to do, and then we'll do the front covers. I was going to do like, you know, with the rings and stuff, but I kind of want to make it more like a storybook. I was going to see if maybe we could do like um, maybe some pop-ups or something like that. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So again, so if you're coming in, I did my construction strips taking the glue off and the glue is facing on the outside and then I'm just lining up the pages with the chipboard. You see? Just lining it up here. Oops. So there we are. We have our book already done. Isn't it quick? I think it's quick. <laughs> Alright, so this is what I want to measure. So this spine now is two two and a half so I think I'm going to make it like two and three quarters now let's see if I have some chipboard here I have a whole bunch of scraps too downstairs darn so now we need our spine yeah pop I, I think it'll be fun if we can figure it out so, so we need eight inches. I should cut this first. Let me cut the two and three quarters first. Two and three quarters. Maybe I should do, yeah, I'm just going to do two and three quarters. There's a two and three quarters by eight. So now 
Oh, now this is a little short. Why is that short? Oh, you know why? Because the front cover is eight and a quarter. <laughs> Hello, when you remind me. <laughs> we need eight and a quarter. Our front cover is eight and a quarter. Hi, Andrew. How are you? Long time no see. How you been? You're busy over there on Facebook. All right, so we need eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter by two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. By eight and a quarter. Just starting a little mini album. I'm doing a chipboard book. For those of you know who are new here and don't know who Andrew is, Andrew is he was designed for he was a designer for Graphic 45 and he runs that's correct, right, Andrew? You run the Facebook page for Graphic 45. So we have that. And we have this. So now we're going to put our hinges on here. So how many hinges have we used? We used, you all forget the time difference. Yeah, he's all the way in Australia. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So far we used seven and I think we're going to need eight. So I might have to cut another one. All right, so I like to leave about a quarter of an inch, a little more maybe, a little less. Oh, and for this one, we don't need the quarter inch, so I do have to make some strips. Hold on. We just need regular um, construction strips. Hi, Darcy. Who doesn't know who Andrew is? True, but we might have some newbies here who might not. <laughs> so I'm going to go I'm gonna go with um, inch and a half, just because it's a front back cover. Inch and a half. Inch and a half, and... The corner for the outside. <laughs> See, Darcy, Sandy Jones didn't know he was. All right, so I'm going to score these just in half. So these are inch and a half, so I'm going to go at three quarters. Whoops. Hi, Darcy, how you been? These are inch, so I'm just going to go half. I'm going to use these for the outside, these little one inch ones. You're an old bitty, and you didn't know? <laughs> Deb, Deb said she's an old bitty, and she didn't know either. <laughs> yeah, so if you are um, interested in the different projects for Graphic 45, you can um, check it out over there on Facebook. Hi, Ange. You had no clue either. See? <laughs> Quite a few of you. All right. <laughs> not a bitty, old bitty. <laughs> You're not an old bitty. <laughs> like a new bee. <laughs> okay, Deb. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put some tape here. Some people need to get out more, Darcy says. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to run my tape along here. I'm going to have to use quarter inch on the outside there. Oh, and we need to cover this piece, too, because you will be able to see the inside because um, we're not attaching the book to the spine. So we definitely have to cover that. <laughs> All right, so that's for that side. For this side. <laughs> what is my light like? There we go. All 
Australia's a long way away from everywhere. <laughs> Tasmania now. Oh, you live in Tasmania now. I was in Australia a couple years ago. My daughter was um, taking a, studying abroad. And so we went to Sydney. We went to... Um, oh, what's the name of that beach we went to? Manning's Beach. We went over to New Zealand. It was really nice. The time difference was hard to get used to, though. Oh, my gosh. That was hard. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to put this down like this. So I'm going to leave about not quite a quarter of an inch. but And I'm going to, I'm going to um, make sure I stay nice and level straight with my... Um, my measuring thing here there we go you had a friend from Tasmania hi Kia <laughs> closest you get to Oz is Jen stream <laughs> all right oh, I might have to trim this a little Jennifer <laughs> didn't know Jen moved tan to Tasmania. I don't think she did. We're talking about Andrew. Andrew Roberts there. He, he lives in Tasmania now. Oh, darn! I made a little, a little blip there. All right, so I'm gonna have to trim this. <laughs> all right so we have that one now we have to put this one together oh the whole thing came off darn it I didn't burnish that down enough all right so I'm going to put this down and then I'll have to trim this one as well And then we're going to cover this spine because you'll see it. Um, I'm going to take the tape off of here. I'll make sure I'm nice and level here. Make sure I'm level with this one. Oh, is that Jessica? Yeah, it was like summer here today. You're heading for winter, aren't you, Andrew? All right, so there we go. So we have our inside of our book. So I just have to trim this. We want to cover this, and I think I'm just going to cover it with... Um, i trying to think what I want to do on the outside. I think I'm just going to cover it with beige for now. I'm not like just, uh, I think I'm just going to cover it with this. Oh, Maggie, there she is. All right, so we need two and three quarters. Two and three quarters by eight and a quarter. that's going to cover our spine so when you look down there you will at least see it's nice and covered so we have that just like that so I am just going to put that down with some glue hi Gwen how are you this doesn't really get like attached or anything so Just so it looks nice and pretty on the inside. Stick that back in. Happy birthday, Galena! <laughs> Today's Galena's birthday. Get rid of 
this. All right, so now we're ready to put our book in there. Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. Yep. I recorded a few minutes earlier before to talk about Seth Apter's um, embossing folders. And then, so see now our spine will go right here in the middle. So we're going to attach a piece here and a piece here. So there we go. So again, we're going to take our tape. And that's going to get matched right to the outside, make it nice and even. I'm going to put the one in the back also. <laughs> oh, this one I cut too big. I have to trim this. So now we have our hinges, so you can see here, we have our hinges to go on the outside, and there's our book, okay? Yeah, it does come together pretty fast. I mean, it's, I, think it, I think it's one of the easiest way to, um, to do a chipboard album, so myself. All right, so this is the tricky part. So this is, remember, these pages are 8x8, eight eight, remember? I'll do the back one first. Remember, these are 8x8, eight eight, but the covers are 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter. So you want to just make sure that you leave that little trim. So what I'm going to do is I am, I, like I said, I always find it easier to put the glue on the outside. And then I'm going to take this piece and I just want to make sure that I leave just a little, you know, center it. So can you see there? I'll make sure I center it there. So I just want to get it close as I can so that's for the back cover Just put that down there like that so you can see where we're, we're going to attach this one here and so that's why you needed to cover this put that piece of uh, cardstock in there so that you when you look down inside there All right so now we're going to take this one off and we're going to attach this to here um, this is a tricky one. Um, I'm just going to attach it this way. I'm going to get as close as I can. Remember, you have to leave that little space. So there we go. Nope, I didn't get. I didn't quite get it on the edge. Hold on. Well, I have to make sure that that falls right on the edge there whoops so there is our chipboard book and then we have um, the spine is loose it's just like that so there it is doesn't that come together fast so we started 7 30 ish so in a half hour as long as you have your hinges done your um, let's make sure I put all these Make sure they're nice and tight. As long, and you have your, you know, chipboard cut. And in a half hour, you could have this book put together. Just make sure you want to burnish these down well. There we go. So we have our book. So what I like to do is cover this part. So I, I actually like to put these hinges just to make it nice, nice and smooth. So we're going to add two more hinges onto here. So let's put tape on the inside. So we actually needed how many hinges? We needed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven with the quarter in between, scoring with the quarter. 
and then you needed four more just um just with nothing you know no, no uh, scoring in the middle so chipboard weight it's um the medium weight it's not like cereal box you know it's a medium chipboard all right so let's put our hinges on here and then we could start decorating the front so i need more tape hey sophie <laughs> You tried to buy a bone folder. The only one you found was in, in a kit for 20 Well, these bone folders are really nice. I get these at Scrap and Abadoo. Um, and they're made so that they... Most bone folders, when you crease them, they uh, when you crease the paper, it leaves like a shiny... a shininess to yours. When you score with this, it does not um, leave a shine on your, um, on your cardstock. They are more expen they are a little expensive. They are, you know, a little they're more expensive, but um I think they're worth it. I like them. I love that mine. I'm always losing it. That's a problem. I think this is like my second or third one I asked Carol for. these down well and then like I said I just like to cover up the edge here I'll have to trim this I don't want to make these so much bigger I guess it have to be a little bit smaller just a tad one paint one with a nail polish that's what I do oh you paint oh you do yeah I don't know I'm sure I'll probably find them and I'll have like three or four of them <laughs> But I don't know. I always, I always lose them. All right. So I'm going to take the tape off of here. And I'm just going to wrap this. Like that. Oops, sorry. And then pull this one off. Oh, I could put washi tape on it. Yes, true. So see, it just leaves like a nice, clean, clean edge compared to that. So, just finishes off nice. So now for the front cover and I'm going to put, um, let's see, do I have something here? So I'm going to put this on here just so that I could hold it up nice and straight. And I'm thinking I want to use the stencils. Uh, where are my stencils? Where are the stencils? They're cute. I love the rocks that um, are come with this stencil. Hold on a second. So I happen to have an EK, um, they no longer make it, but it's an EK success, and look at, it's a dinosaur. So it's a dinosaur um, punch, but if you don't have that, you can use like a zigzag to resemble the um, dinosaur, uh, you know, the back of the dinosaur. Oh, I cut this one on my silhouette. Look, Jean, I used my silhouette today. <laughs> can you believe that? I actually cut out things on my silhouette. <laughs> You have to send me some more um, files now that I know how to use it. <laughs> so I thought we would. Oh, I saw so here. I'll show you my. I did cut out the other little dinosaurs, and they do have um, in Scrappy Dabba Do. They have the dies there. Oh, she went for her first bingo night. Oh, and she won butterscotch pudding. Ooh, but yum. <laughs> did she like it? <laughs> 
so here's the little dinosaur this one's kind of more kiddish um you know it's for the little baby so so i did go ahead and put these little dinosaurs together so let's see what we're going to do with the cover and i cut out the palm tree so i'm thinking I want to put this um, family rocks I'm thinking about cutting it out and then maybe like doing I don't know like a circle um, where's the stencils and here's the dies these are the cute little dies that um, scrap a dab do 20% off so if you guys, oops, if you guys are interested in that and then I also got the little embossing folder look how cute that is hi Glenda <laughs> She gave it to your sister to take home. <laughs> she didn't like it, you mean, Jean? <laughs> so. And here's the other one. This is the other die. This one. Aren't they cute? So we have this stencil. So I'm thinking about putting the rocks. Maybe we'll add some rocks here. I'm thinking I'm going to cover this with um, the beige, I think. Since we did the beige on the outside. And then we're going to go ahead and put some stuff on there. So let's do that. Oh, thanks, Jennifer. That's all right, so we need our cover to cut out eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So let me do that. Oops, I forgot that was in there. eight and a quarter so really if you do you know cut your chipboard and stuff out it's really it really comes together ah see i gotta change my blades i cut that chipboard so let me do that really quick oh no more blades hold on Did you play bingo too, Jean, with your mom? Hi, Sherry. Hi, Miss Allie. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. All right. So the one thing I like about this cutter is that the blade is super easy to change. So all you do is you put this back in here. I take an empty one. Pull it out. Throw that away. <coughs> And then stick this one in and then I save these to put pull, pull the other the next one out I'm sad that she's not going to be uh, not going to be doing any more paper crafting <laughs> all right eight and a quarter there we go So we're going to cover this up and then we're going to do put some texture paste on here so i think i'm going to put this down with tape yes it's a martha stewart paper trick cutter yep and um they're not i'm not making it anymore so i've been trying to like scrounge around and like get as many blades as i can because her blades are not only good for the cutter but um for the circle cutter work the same blades work for the circle cutter I think something else I forget maybe she, oh, that's a nice thing about that is that the blades like interchanged I probably should have got here in my half inch tape Yes, I got more. I went. To, I actually got some at Joann's, and I actually got some at Hobby Lobby. So I think I have like four packs now. <laughs> so I keep my eye on the hunt for them.
All right. I'm gonna burnish this. You have her circle color, yeah, and they're discontinuing. Yep. Yep, they're discontinuing her craft line. So yeah, so you need to look for blades. <laughs> That's what I've been doing. I love her circle cutter too. Well, I really like a lot of her um, punches and her, you know, her tools and stuff like that. All right, so, so you know I only take off one side. Let me take off this side so that I can um, get it even where I want it. And I hold this side up till I get it right where I want. Then I go back and take everything off. So you don't have to worry about either if you put it on crooked. Hi, Jean. <laughs> yeah, they are. The hurt tools are always pretty good. Yep. You love her scoreboard? Yeah, I do too. Like I said, the tools and the punches. I love the punches. I wish they would start making more punches like EK Success used to do a lot of punches. Now I haven't seen any. All right. So we have that down. And should I ink? I think I'll ink after. So let's decide what we want to do here. If I put this down, I just thought, oh, I, wait, hold on. So I did dye, you know, this is my tissue paper. I hope I have enough here. So what I want to do is definitely put a palm tree here. So where is my palm tree? You have quite a few of her punches. <laughs> Not as many as me, Jean says. My girlfriend has almost every one, Jean. <laughs> She's way outweighs out. She, you know, she has more than I do. So I'm thinking I'm going to be putting this little dinosaur trim here on the side. And I definitely want the palm tree. So we're going to put the palm tree. Let me get the leaves for those. Bye, Andrew. Andrew's going. Bye, Andrew. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> so, you know, I like to twist my, um, my paper. And we're going to make a palm tree. So, so I don't need that much. So I'm going to pull it off there. And we're going to go like this. Pretty close to like this. So I need my glue. So once I just, and all I did was I just took tissue paper and I just to use my tattered angels, anything that was like brown. I think I had a little bit of color wash in there. So any spray that you have, um, you can do this with. So, and then I just keep adding glue and twisting it around. love doing palm trees and um, any kind of tree with this paper like that. All right, so we have that kind of set. So when I have my palm tree leaves, so I think I'm going to add, um, maybe we'll put the rocks here and there, and then maybe we'll add some footprints around. So I need some texture paste, so let me see where that is, texture paste. And then we'll kind of spray it, I think. So I need my punch back up here. Keep that nice and level. So let's see. And I think these would be um, great stencils for anything. I think for like bare feet or, you know, 
any animals in the woods, camping, and of course you can always use a rock stencil. So, alright, so, I'll take some of this, getting down to the end. So our palm trees here, we're probably going to have like a photo mat here in the beginning, rocks, I'm going to have them. We might have a dinosaur. I think I might put the dinosaur there. So let's just add some feet here. going to clean up this one that there are no feet prints there so we have the feet there we'll put some rocks I need to wipe let me get my mat I don't have my little mat where is it I'll have to just do it on here. Hi, Leanne. <laughs> Coming in, we're just working on a little dinosaur mini book, mini album, a chipboard book. We put the chipboard book together already, and we're working on the front cover. So I clean that all up. there to dry and then I'm going to go with the rocks yes dinosaur yeah <laughs> we made a little palm tree out of um, tissue paper we're gonna put on the front cover all right so I'm gonna add some rocks I'm just going to add a little bit here. You like the feet? Aren't they cute? <laughs> I love the feet. They remind me of like they could be like squirrel feet or... <laughs> anything really a bear All right so we have the rocks and then I'm just going to scoop the ones that are not full rocks so we have there and I think I'm going to put some on this edge here they aren't the poor dinosaurs walk back put a little bit right down the center here be behind our palm tree like scoop away some of this yes I made my own texture paste mm -hmm. I did it with um, baby powder white glue I have it on my blog somewhere but the nice thing it's always smells like baby powder <laughs> I'm going to be putting that trim on the side here so I don't want any texture paste here. Alright. 
then we'll have to dry this. And then I think we might have to spray it with something. Let's see. Oh, let me clean this one. Yeah, there's something else. Um, I'll have to look for it, Meg, and then uh, maybe I can try to get it for you next week. It's baby powder, glue, like, you know, Elmer's glue, water. I just don't remember what the whole thing is. <laughs> it's too much like cooking, Milton says. <laughs> that's good enough for that so now let's dry this I need a heat gun All right heat gun Paula nope there's no cooking involved <laughs> Spackling compound, yeah. I like this though because it's nice and thin or you can make it thick. It's nice and creamy and smooth. I just, it's my favorite Ranger texture paste off the set. what kind of spray I have that we could spray on here. Oh, maybe the brown. Although I do want kind of like a green maybe because we have our palm tree. Hmm. We'll see. No point if the... <laughs> it's true, Jean. <laughs> Alright, so I am... I think I'm going to spray it with the... Let's see, what do I have? Antique Gold. I don't think I want gold. I really want something like brown. Let's see what I have. Oh, you like the heavy gel medium? but I don't I don't see one right now so I think I'm just gonna try to put some of this on there it's the only brown I have here's another homemade embossing texture paste recipe it's a quarter cup of cornstarch she says one tablespoon of PVA glue white all-purpose school glue one tablespoon of white acrylic paint, craft paint, and some water. That's good. I like the baby powder because it always smells like baby powder. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to squeeze some of this. We need a paper towel. If I had a brown spray, I would spray it, but I just don't have brown spray up here. I should have thought about bringing brown spray. Let's see what else I have here. No, no. So if you have brown spray, you could just spray this or you could rub it with some distress ink. I'm just going to use this because this is what I have. You haven't had baby powder around in a long time. <laughs> This is for my niece who just had a baby. He's like, I think he's like eight months old now. 
So this is um, uh, Dr. Martin's Van Dyke Brown ink. So I'm going to just rub it across the top here. And I need a spray bottle, which I hope I have. There's my spray bottle. There we go. And then I am going to just rub this down. And then I'm going to add some more ink on here. Across the bottom here. I'm going to go the other way. Cool looking, isn't it? So I'm going to heat dry that. So that looks pretty cool. Let's put the top on this. You can get baby powder at the dollar store. Yep. <laughs> right. So I'm going to put a heat gun to this. And cover your ears. <laughs> heat gun, Paula. <laughs> to make it dry clear. Now it'll be white. <laughs> New chat stuff. No, they're talking. <laughs> Watch the drippage. <laughs> Spritzing. <laughs> kind of like cavish <laughs> cavish kind of all right so we're going to put our palm tree down like this so I'm just trying to think here I don't want to cover up all that nice um, 
I might have to do a smaller one, smaller mat. I'm thinking I'm going to cut these. I'm going to cut these words out, I think, and put family rocks. And then we need our palm trees. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> so let's see. This one is going to go here, and I need some green. Here, oops, let me get all the palm tree leaves out. I love this dinosaur. <laughs> I love that one. <laughs> we could either do that one or we could do the bigger one. We could do that one. Maybe I'll put that other one on the inside. Came in at the right time. Palm tree. Yep. <laughs> so a palm tree. Just trying to get all my pieces here. See, and then I have the really tiny ones too. We could go with little ones. We'll see. Let's make sure I have all my palm trees pieces. Okay, I think that's all of them. I want to ink them with some green. So this is brown. Here we go. Here's green. And I think I'm going to go around, what is this? Gather twigs. I think I'm going to go around the edge of this with some gather twigs. The bigger one? 